Discovering God Through the Psalms, Grow in Your Intimacy with God, by Paul Bucknell. In today's lesson, we will look at a new spiritual discipline, Glow to Glory. Produced by Biblical Foundations for Freedom, www.foundationsforfreedom.net. Releasing God's truth to a new generation. Hi, this is Paul Bucknell. We're discussing today, Discovering God Through the Psalms, a special and new spiritual discipline. We're concerned here, not just with the general study of the Psalms, but how the Psalms can help us grow in our intimacy with God. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you so much for your great love and care for us. And we ask that you would open our eyes, Lord, to steps that we can implement in our daily lives to grow closer to you. Now teach us, Lord, through Psalm 19. In Jesus we pray. Amen. We're going to be looking at Psalm 19, verses 1 through 6, as the basis of this new spiritual discipline. Let me first read that for us. It's written, of course, as a song, a psalm of David. The heavens are telling of the glory of God, and their expanse is declaring the work of his hands. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, nor is there words. Their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth and their utterances to the end of the world. In them he has placed a tent for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber. It rejoices as a strong man to run his course. Its rising is from one end to the heavens and its circuit to the other end of them. And there is nothing hidden in them. Now we want to look at three points. I want to identify these three points and then go on and discuss that spiritual discipline. Well, first of all, we look at the purpose of creation. What would you say? It's there to declare God's glory. Notice here, telling of the glory of God. Secondly, we look at, in verse 2, the constancy of creation's voice. Day to day, night to night reveals knowledge. This is 24-7. This is something God is doing all the time. What do we learn from these things? These two points, first two points. First of all, God wants us to bring Second of all, that God has so made the creation, the heavens, the earth, everything that he's made to cause us to bring glory to him, to join the creation itself in declaring its design and the greatness of it to God. But it should be 24-7, something that's constant. In other words, God welcomes our response to him. This is natural. This is good. And uh, thirdly is the coverage. We see that it goes everywhere. Wherever the sun would go, we see that his glory is going forth. His speech, his design has gone forth. And he uses uh, one illustration as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber as as a picture of the sun. Just recently married, looking at life as a wonderful opportunity with his wife, everything to look forward to. As the journey of the sun goes across the sky, this is just the basis of the spiritual discipline that I would like to recommend. Now, there are many kinds of spiritual disciplines, and each is a usually daily, but not necessarily a daily routine that helps us to grow in our consciousness of God and our willingness to follow Him. It's making us more and more aware of who He is, and therefore, enables us to better respond to him. Now, let me have you see how this works. It says, Lord, I love how you made... And what we want to do here is respond to what God's doing. So he has this amazing, awesome creation voice that's always coming to us. There's no speech. It's just scenes, scenes, one after another, glorious scene, Uh, all marking some special aspect of his wisdom, his knowledge. And so we want to identify one. Lord, I love how you made the sun. I love how you made the warmth from the sun. I love how you made the frogs. Um, Yesterday I was reading about the nitrogen cycle and how it goes through several different phases to take the gas nitrogen to make it the phosphate and then to break it down so it nourishes all of uh, living uh, creatures and plants. And so we just find that it's just so amazing. The more we... Uh, take a look into the design of the creation, the more our hearts will step back in adoration of our great God. So that's how we go. We first identify, Lord, I love how you made something. And then 
Uh, we say how wonderful it is, how glorious it is, and thank you for reminding how great you are. We want to take what he made and then respond back and give praise. Lord, you are so great. I thank you that you've made me to be aware of this so I can worship you, acknowledge this is your wisdom, this is your power, this is the way you do things. I can't do that. A simple illustration that I've used from early on with my children is, look at the mud. Okay, what can you do with it? Well, you can make mud balls, you can make cakes, right? Mud cakes. But look and take a beautiful flower that grew from the mud. Where did it get its tender design? Where did it get its beautiful colors, textures, seed, replication, function? You see, God's way takes the ordinary and makes it supernatural, awesome, and wonderful. So let me go on. Now, what I like to suggest now is that spiritual discipline. I recommend that it's several times a day. We have to train our minds because we naturally don't do that. And in fact, in our world, we have something that goes contrary to it. We are told to take a secularistic or naturalistic view of the creation. God is telling us, no, no, we know there's a greater purpose. It's to bring glory to God. So we want to take the glow. Glow is something that awes us about the creation. Sometimes, if we're so busy, we might just have to pause and look at the things he made us, how he made a creature, how he did this. Like the sea slug, I was just reading an article uh, from the Creation Magazine, and, and just, wow, look at it. It has so many various colors, thousands of colors and designs. It's just a simple thing, and yet it's amazing how God reveals his glory even in the bottom of the sea. The name of the spiritual discipline, glow to glory. Glow is the awesome scene that we see. To glory means we take that, respond to it, and bring glory to God. We bring some praise. Now, let me give you one more illustration. Uh, let me just use this picture that's right before us. Lord, I love how I can see the sunset in such a beautiful way that I sense that warmth and that glory uh, that you have made and have made me to be able to appreciate it. You are so awesome. I thank you. You've created that sense of appreciation in my life. And I worship you for that. I thank you for that. You see how it works? Glow to glory. And I just want to make a few comments on how this works. You see, first of all, we look at things from a humanistic perspective. That is, we are just seeing how it's made in response to us. Oh, I like that. That's not enough. God says in Romans 1 that we ought to be thankful. That's the most basic essence where we say, hey, that's nice. I appreciate God for making that. It's, it's acknowledging that God has done it um, beyond us. It's not just serving us. It, it's recognized that God did it for us, which takes us to the third level, worshipful. That's where glow goes to glory. We realize from Psalm 19, 1, he has made and designed the world in such a way that it declares his glory. And we are to join in that glory. And the only way we do that is step back, respond, and say, Oh, it is so awesome and so wonderful. The heavens are telling of the glory of God. Will you not join with me in pledging to train yourself this week, two times a day, to step back and say, God, you are glorious. You are wonderful. Well, this is just one study from growing in your intimacy with God through Psalm 19, verses 1 through 6. It talks about a new spiritual discipline. Do you remember what it was? Glow to glory. The glow, the awesome scene, the glory. Oh, I respond and make a deliberate point of adoring God for what he's done. Let me just close in a word of prayer. Lord, even as we step back and look at this wonderful mountain scene, we recognize that you have made all things and you are calling us to join creation with our voice, with our heart, with our mind to state how great you are and how wonderful that you have called our hearts to join you in these things. Now open our eyes more and more to the glow, to the awesome creation you made that all the more we might give praise to your name. In Jesus we pray. This concludes a special message on a new spiritual discipline, Glow to Glory by Paul Bucknell, part of a larger series, Growing in Your Intimacy with God, Discovering God Through the Psalms. 
Produced by Biblical Foundations for Freedom. www.foundationsforfreedom.net Releasing God's truth to a new generation.